people on the side of the road and kick her ass. It will be fun, I, I assure you. She'll probably come out, of the, come out of those bushes over there. Just pay attention to the bushes, everybody. If you're ever walking down the road by yourself, pay Oh my god! I'm afraid your journey ends here, traveler. <laughs> I'll be taking whatever you're carrying. After you're dead, of course. I do hope it's more than the last few had. They were most disappointing. You're really funny, you know that? You wanna know why? Because you think you can kill me. And I assure you, it's not gonna work out like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and kick her ass. Looks like we got some mages here to help us, though. That's pretty cool of them. Time to die, blue robe wearing lady. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Because you, you seem kind of scared right now. I'm just putting that out there. You worried that I'm going to knock the stuffing out of that bra? You fake-ass lady. Time for you to die. Oh, she healed herself. What a clever... Uh, asshole. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Can you please die? I would appreciate it if you would just kind of sit down. Alright, alright. I got this. I got this. Final kill. Die. Oh, wow. She keeps healing herself. What the hell? There she goes. Way to go. I need to talk to Kara Hill and Anvil and inform her that Caminalda, oh, that's a really extended name, uh, has been defeated. Continue. Stupid blue robes, or blue velvet outfit, whatever. Take all of that stuff. In fact, I did not want to do that, actually. I wanted to take all the stuff but the blue robe. I don't want that. That, is, that stuff was, look at her, she's all naked and crap. That's what happens. I'm not even going to bury your body. Get out of here. So, um, yeah, let's go back to Anvil and get our recommendation. Good stuff, good stuff. And that was a quick quest. That was only like 10 minutes long or something. Oh, well, that was fun, though. We did, like, that was, that was a pretty epic battle. I mean, we had skeletons, my pet. This is my pet skeleton. Like, I, I call him out every now and then. He does the dishes. But, um... So I don't know which Mage's Guild quest I want to do after this. I was thinking of maybe going to get Umbra after this quest, but I don't know. Screw it. I'm going to go do the Skin Grad quest. I don't even know what the Skin Grad uh, Mage's Guild quest is, but we'll figure it out. All we have to do is go to the Mage's Guild. What's up, Kara Hill? So, what of the rogue mage? Has he been found? Well, first of all, it's a she, and she stuffs her bra. Unlike you, I can tell you're a... You're honest lady, you're not a fake. A she, you say? And she's dead. Well, Ariel and Roliand did what needed to be done. No more innocent deaths. At least for now. You have done well enough for yourself. I'll pass along my recommendation to Raminus. Though I must say, I doubt it will do you much good in the end. You'd be surprised how easily they forget about the little people. It's a good thing I'm the main character, and I'm more important than you and everybody else in this game. Not to brag, but I am uh, the chosen guy or something that is going to protect the universe from death and all that good stuff. We're going to save Narnia. That's all I'm saying. But uh, time to go to Skingrad. I'm pretty sure we didn't do the Mage's Guild quest for this place, but if we have, I'm going to feel like a dope. We couldn't have, because we did Shadenhall, we did Leowin, we did Breville, and we just did Anvil, so... Yeah, we haven't done Skingrad yet. To the best of my knowledge, we haven't. Look, at it's all bright and sunny. I like how each of the cities kind of have their own architecture to them. Like, some of them are actually really similar to one another, but like, if you go out to Bruma, it's way different than down in Leowin. And I have no idea where I'm even going, so I should activate this quest, so I... Know where the Mage's Guild is. Well, it's right in front of me. Stupid. Oh, wait, that wasn't it. What the hell? Freaking map lied to me. It said the red marker was, like, right freaking there, but... It wasn't. Okay, this is just, like, a mage, uh... Store. Where the hell is the Mage's Guild, then? It says it's, like, right here. I am confuzzled. It's right over here. Oh, okay. There we go. That's the big Mage's Guild sign right there. Good stuff. I am curious to see what this quest is going to be about. I have no idea. Oh, it's another lizard person. What? Who are you? Well, who cares? I'm Druya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your Cyrodiilic? Cyra who? 
Goodbye. Okay, where does this green dot lead me to? Over here? This guy? Greeting. Uh, that's not it. Uh, looks like they're upstairs. Damn it. How come everybody's gotta be all upstairs and crap? Hello, associate. What's up, Adrian? I trust you have a good reason for interrupting me. Wow. Snooty-ass bitch number 9,000. Holy crap. Like, there's always gotta be some snooty-ass bitch in a game I play. I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. I'm rather busy, you understand. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Earthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? So long as you don't act like another snooty-ass bitch, I'll do it. Excellent. I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he borrowed. You might want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Let me know when he's back, and you'll have your recommendation. Sounds easy enough. We just have to figure out where this guy is. So, um, wait a minute. Let's go look at the uh, quest here. In order to get recommendation from Adrian Bereen, I need to find Earthor and return him to the Skingad, Skingrad Mages Guild. I should speak with the other guild mages to learn his whereabouts. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. He's bald. He's suspicious. You want me? You sure? I'm Vigit. I'm Mages Guild, but I don't train or anything. Okay. I just want to know where Earthor is. He hasn't shown up here in a while. I assumed he was still out at Bleak Flats Cave, where he usually stays. That fact. Good. I actually think I know who knows about it. I think it's the uh, lizard lady. What? Okay, that's not a way to greet people, but okay. It's just northwest of Skingrad. Here, see it on the map? That's where Earthor wound up after Adrian told him he couldn't practice in the guild hall anymore. She probably doesn't even remember that. You might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. What a jerk face. Good so this guy has just been hanging out in a cave and she's responsible for it. And she's like standing all creepily at the top of this staircase. What are you doing? Hello, she probably stuffs her bra too. You're here about that recommendation, I presume. I'll need to speak with Earthor before I write it. Okay, well, he's kind of in a cave alone because of you. Oh, I do remember telling him to go there. Mm. Well, we'll just have to do something about that, won't we? Yes, we will. By we, I mean you, of course. Oh, wow. I have something that may help. It's a basic fireball spell, in case you need to defend yourself. I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. Yeah, once again, we have to do all the heavy lifting. Isn't that so freaking typical? All right, so where's that um, awesome, like, fireball spell? Weak fire... Wow. Seriously? That doesn't even compare to Shocking Touch. I'm just going to keep using that one. Screw it. So we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can make our way to this cave. I have no idea where it is. It's got to be somewhere on the map. Oh, yeah, it's just outside of Skingrad. Let's see, how much time do we have left? We have about one minute. So, um, actually, uh... We'll get- we'll make our way to the cave, and then, once we get there, we'll go ahead and end the recording. I guess we can keep going for just a little bit longer. The novice of acrobatics cannot attack while jumping or falling. That's right, I forgot about that. We can't swing our sword and attack at the same time, unfortunately. No, I wanted to do a halo jump and stab. Look at this random farm over here. What's up, random farm? How come there's no cows or something leaving their manure everywhere? I forget which kind of manure is used for farming. Is it cow manure or is it horse manure? I think it's horse manure, but I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am. I'm not an expert in poop or anything, but... I'm an expert in poop in the Cheerios. You want to know why? Because if someone poops in my Cheerios, it's a hell of a day. Like, I'm about to... I'm going to dropkick some fool if I get poop in my Cheerios. Just says it, but... Jump! Jump through the epic grass. Oblivion would be a peaceful place to live in, aside from the fact that Oblivion gates are going to be popping up every which way. Not yet, but, um... Yeah. Random deer running in circles. I saw a show on Animal Planet the other day where these people were, like, drugging 
animals and then hunting them in some kind of preserve. Like, what the hell is that about? Like, if you're gonna hunt an animal, at least give it a fighting chance. You don't freaking poison it so it doesn't even have any sort of chance. So we're here at the cave, guys. Uh, that is it for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed. And leave, please leave a like if you enjoyed uh, these past couple episodes. It definitely helps out the channel grow. Although my main concern is keeping you guys happy. So leave a comment below if you have anything to ask me. And I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching, Narnians. And have a great day.